Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about very important aspects of heart failure. Heart failure is a disease where there is a failure either to eject the blood called as systolic heart failure commonly or there is acceptance failure commonly known as diastolic heart failure. Both are equally important. Many times we speak only of the systolic heart failure that is the ejection fraction of the heart goes much below the normal 55 to 70 percent. In the diastolic heart failure which is more common in the elderly population and the stiffened heart which is unable to accept the sufficient blood to pump forward and nowadays with the covid situation in hand there is occurrence of more and more viral fever associated myocarditis thereby causing the systolic pump failure and the other causes are also equally important which we can discuss today like BP, diabetes, blocks in the artery supplying the heart, the various degenerative valvular heart diseases like aortic stenosis, mitral stenosis or pulmonary stenosis which can lead to systolic heart failure. Whenever we encounter the patient, we have to first confirm with the 2D echo, then certain blood test like antipro BNP. Antipro BNP is a very important marker in the blood which in very simple way can distinguish between the breathlessness because of heart failure and breathlessness because of some other cause. To monitor also whether the patient is worsening or is becoming better with the treatment, antipro BNP can be a very useful and handy marker. The various treatment modalities which have been now devised more and more commonly are beta blockers, MRA, RAS inhibitors like the AC inhibitors, ARBs and ERNI. But we can see now there is a shift in the treatment modality from the medical management into the device management. So various device like CRT where there is a pacemaker in the left chamber of the heart there is a, another wire in the right chamber of the heart and still third wire in the right upper chamber that is the right atrium of the heart. So simultaneously working it efficiently increases the pumping fraction by around 15 to 20 percent in the given patient and the success ratio of this device therapy is almost 95 percent. The other devices are like implantable defibrillators called as ICDs. Nowadays the CRT and ICD can be combined into one device. Even there are mechanical hearts available nowadays which are like used as a bridge to transplant patients. So till the time the patient gets a donor heart, these people can be put on mechanical support which are bedside like ECMO therapies which is more commonly employed to less commonly employed devices like Thoratec or Impella. Now heart failure in India, the incidence we can see is usually 5 lakhs to 10 lakhs per year. But it is steadily and gradually increasing, is afflicting not only the elderly population but also young population in equal amounts. The good news about the heart failure is that Many times heart failure is temporary, especially in viral fevers. So the COVID associated heart failure many times with proper care and treatment responds very well and bounces back to normal. But if there is a accompanying symptom like angina or if there is a giddiness, then whether the patient has any block cause causing angina or any valvular disease causing any block in the pathway of the blood flow through heart then they require either angioplasty or bypass for blocks or the wall replacement for the wall problems. So with proper care we can see heart failure success ratio is very high. Thank you.